Welcome back to the show. This is ET Homegrown <laughs> episode. We are doing an interview with Hayden Bushfield, the founder, the creator, and the mind, the mastermind behind Optical Ice. Go check him out on everything. Here's a little image, too. What is Optical Ice? You ask. He's going to tell you. That's quite the intro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, the mastermind. Okay. You know, I was, I was thinking Megamind for some reason, like the, the cartoon. You know? I got to live up to the hype now. Okay. Dude, I, yeah. you know, we put all our guests on that pedestal. We know how great you can be and will be. I appreciate you know? that. Thank you. Are. Yeah, so Optical Ice, it's, a, uh, it's an entertainment media company. Uh, we like specialize in uh, promotional videos, music videos. Hell yeah. Where can they find you at real quick? Uh, you can find me at youtube.com slash optical ice. Hell yeah. Uh, Instagram.com optical underscore ice. And uh, link, link in the bio to all the other platforms. Hell yeah. yeah. His links will be in the description. So go check him out on everything. Continue though. So optical ice. Yes. Yeah. So it's a... Uh, you know, I, just, I like to call it as uh, videos, events, vibes, you know, it's just. A oh, good, OK. You got it, the three words for it. Yeah, exactly. I like that. Yeah. I like that. So, yeah, it's an entertainment media company, um, you know, founded by myself uh, recently. And uh, yeah, we're basically just specializing in just making dope videos, man. We do. We're doing a lot of videos, uh, music videos recently. But um, Hell yeah. But yeah, it's been going good. Yeah. You say we, but I remember you saying this is a, a one man show. You know, it, it is a one-man show. Yeah, I got I got people in my corner helping me that I'm blessed for. But yeah, yeah. Um, I got awesome. people in my corner too. Yeah, yeah. No, but, really, yeah. I, I created this corner. <laughs> yeah, shit, you yeah. fucking. You're mom. my son. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Um, All right. the, the parents are speaking. So shut up, <laughs> this guy. One sec. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, yeah, I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, right now it's just kind of mainly me doing all the video work, but. Mm. Uh, but I always like, you know, with everyone I work with, it's like, yo, hey, it's a collaboration effort. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I don't, I don't view myself as a, you know, a videographer for hire. It's like, you know, you're giving me an opportunity to work with you to, you know, connect you and, you know, make you like, you know, make a video that you can't really get anywhere else. You right. Know? But you're trying to create, like you said, the vibe, the experience. The vibe. Yeah, exactly. You said you know? the vibe, event, and yeah. what, what was it? The three uh, words? Events. Videos, events, vibes. Videos, yes, events, sir. vibes. Yeah. So that's, that's what you're that's trying to create. Bees. Exactly. Yeah. Yo, I always say it's like when you, when you see that like frozen camera, you know, logo on the video, it's mm-hmm. like, you know, that's an optical ice video. That's always what I try to tell them. You right. Know, it's like whatever you got your here, little stamp. bro. Yeah, exactly. Whatever we do here, it's like, you know, we got to make sure it, it fills into that, into that uh, genre, I guess. Right. Into your criteria. So like we were talking a little bit about off mic, but so like your videos, they kind of are just you working with the artist and kind of creating something together. Or mm-hmm. is it a lot of you directing? Uh, it's a little bit of both. So um, every video that I direct, I put my um, I put my name on it as the director. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but I never really view it as just my video. It's like their video. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I listen to the song. I feel like, is this something I can make a video for? And then um, from then, I kind of just talk with the artist, figure out what we're going to do with it, what we're going to need for the video. Um, and then pretty much just kind of go from there. But it's always a collaboration effort. I always like hope and um, I find that most people that reach out to me, they trust my judgment and they trust the vision for the right. video. Okay. Um, they come to you because they, yeah, they like want you. They like the core of what I do. And mm-hmm. then they, they kind of like, like, oh, can we sprinkle here this in you know, a little bit? Kind of like mm-hmm. you know, do that. And you know, me almost like, you know, like, yeah, that's fine. Like it's your video. You're going to be on camera, you know? Right. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how we do it um, from there. And, um, but it, it's been it's been a blast recently working with a lot of these guys. So. Yeah. yeah. And uh, your first video, that was with Mike Nectar, or is that the song? No, Mike Nectar. That's a cool story. So... Uh, Mike Nectar, he's a he's a diamond jeweler. He's actually. a diamond jeweler. Yeah, oh, okay. he's a diamond jeweler back in New York. So um, Bro, that's fucking cool. Yeah, you were telling me. We yeah, gotta talk about your internship. So yes. um, yeah, so I uh, I have a couple connections um in uh the music industry back in New York, and uh, they have some connections in the diamond industry back in New York. And okay. so it's kind of tethered, huh? Yeah, rappers yeah. and diamonds. I honestly, it's just it's just the East Coast vibe. I feel like yeah. it's it, everything's right. all like close there, and so. Uh, and so I was able to hook up and go on a, a connection uh, internship for a little bit back in New York City doing uh, some like I helped with promotional videos and kind of shadowing him and seeing kind of how he does his business and stuff. It's a really cool experience. But um, and yeah. who was who that? Who was your mentor? Uh, that Mike Nectar. Oh, yeah, Mike exactly. Nectar was your mentor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then uh, so you did a video with him. Yeah, I did videos. I did photos of his jewelry. You can find stuff. Uh, just Mike, if you search up Mike Nectar, you know he, he's verified in IG. He's he's pretty okay. big. So, oh shit. You know, yeah. If you're looking for any jewelry, Mike Nectar NYC. Check Mike that out. Yeah. Hell yeah, go check that out. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I kind of helped him with that for a little bit, and then you know I kind of like picked his brain about how you know how he ran his business, how he did stuff like that. But Absolutely. is that what kind of gave you that inspiration to start it? Yeah, I had, so I had the idea of optical ice in my head for a little bit. Um, and then I definitely really think that, you know, kind of 
talking about that with Mike and be able to open up with Mike and be mm-hmm. able to like you know plan it. It's out. really cool to have someone who's in the game and like yeah. is doing something you're kind yeah. of interested in mm-hmm. to kind of give you that path, you know. Because even though he's he does jewelry and I do videos, right. it was like he kind of started his own brand and I'm trying mm-hmm. to start my own brand. Right. So that, like, yeah. At the end of the day, you're both business and companies. You know. Right. Company but, has a similar foundation wherever you go. Yeah. Being and, able to like pick his brain and kind of see how he did it. It was, it was a really cool experience. And you know, someone that's very successful like himself, mm-hmm. you know, Absolutely. it was be able to cool be like, you know, okay, so you, you did your own thing with these diamonds. How can I apply that same sort of mindset and vision, but to content creation, right. um, uh, yeah. you know, and, and, and that's kind of what he wanted me there for was cause you know, he's trying to dabble in that stuff and figure that out. So, um, it was, it was definitely a dope collaboration and it was how'd awesome you stumble upon that internship? So, um, <laughs> there's a, a, a guy that I know back in New York who is, uh, he's an artist manager. And uh, his brother works for Mike. His brother is like, uh-huh. works for Mike, and they were yeah. looking for that. And so he shot me a text. He was just like, "Hey, you know." Uh, and this was before you had anything out on YouTube, or no? I've been doing so. I've been doing videos for a while. Um, I didn't have optical lights at this point. This was like early, early on, in like the optical. Here, let me go back to how optical lights <laughs> start. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We can touch you, on that you first. see how my brain jumps around. Yeah, I just yeah. ask questions as you're telling your yeah. stories. <laughs> so, so I've been doing videos since. Probably like eighth grade, huh? Yeah, basically since eighth grade, like okay. way early back in the OG days, it was just like um, me and my buddies making like fucking Call of Duty videos or shit. Yeah, like that. Like I, was, was, I was on that same shit, bro. I had a YouTube channel. I was making mm-hmm. content. I had an Elgato and everything. Yeah, <laughs> just recording. You know, and and like the videos, like they suck for me. Like they're horrible. Mm-hmm. Like I, you know, I bet especially now. Yeah, you know, compared yeah, to the yeah. shit you're making now. Everybody yeah. starts somewhere though, you know? Exactly. And so, and then I remember, um, my first year of high school, I went to a different high school. <laughs> um, you good? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, breathe. Yeah, I'm okay. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. I went, I took a filmmaking <laughs> class my freshman year in high school. Okay. Uh, and then I transferred, I transferred, uh, in that year, but I still kind of stayed with like doing videos and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I go to, I went to school for it. I'm currently a senior at Cal State Northridge. Oh uh, shit. You're yeah. a senior. How old are you? I'm 21. Oh, okay. that makes more sense now. I'm yeah. 20 or I'm about to be 20. We're about to be 20. We'll do but the next two weeks. Oh, there we go. Yes, hey, happy early birthday. Thank Appreciate you. It. Yeah. We're twins, but not on the same day. And it's hard to, Oh yeah. yeah. That's a whole nother explanation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I came out the vag. You came out the ass. I don't know. Whoa. No. It got lost in <laughs> translation, but, but that's really cool that you were able to get that internship and it kind of like. It seemed like you got the gears rolling for Optical Ice. Yeah. Like, yeah. As, the, as the brand. At yeah, kind of. Yeah. But, so, but, like you were saying, eighth grade, that's where you started. Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, so yeah. then, what, you just kept going and kept going? Yeah. So, my I went to school for television production, which I'm finishing up right now. Kind of oh, kept damn. doing some stuff down there. Small. Is that stuff. pretty interesting? Hold up. I get, yeah. I get everywhere. Continue. No, you're fine. I'm going to write that down, though. Yeah. <laughs> you go, yeah. Um, no, and so, and so I'm, a, I'm a senior in college finishing that up. Um, and then. Uh, during COVID, I, you know, I was like, we, we were all sent home. And I remember that was kind of when I started really kicking up the production was doing my own self, doing right, projects yeah. myself. Um, I remember it was probably like this time last year was when I really invested in a lot more gear, really spent a lot more time doing it. Um, and then I just kind of kept doing videos throughout the summer. Um, I was doing a lot of, I, you know, I'm, 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 a, I'm a big car enthusiast. You know, I got a lot of friends in the car scene, mm-hmm. I was shooting, you, you know, cars for people, little, you know, yeah. little, little edits for them. Um, I didn't really dabble in music videos too much, but then I started getting more into doing music videos. I started getting more into doing other stuff. What um, transitioned you? Just the amount of growth um, you could have? Yeah, honestly. So it was probably that when I when I met that manager, or not met, but when I had that connection with that guy that works back in New York. Mm-hmm. The he, Mike? Not Mike. The There's another guy that he um, – he works in the music industry. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, were saying yeah. yeah. He wor- he works in the music industry. Probably like being able to uh, meet him, not mm-hmm. like not meet him, but like you know, like have that connection, like you know, right. with with him. That kind of really got me more engaged in like the uh, okay, the music side of it. That's a bigger market. There's mm-hmm. more to do that with there. Um, and then I started getting to shooting music videos. I started doing uh, more like lyric videos and stuff like that. Did some stuff for him for some of the, his artists back in New York, uh, and then. I basically just kept doing that and then that rolled into the fall like this was all over the summer when mm-hmm. COVID started hitting you know and then that's kind of when the gear started turning of I don't want to just be a video for hire like you know like mm-hmm. how do I really take this and do my own thing um and then it's funny actually how we got the name optical light so I was, I was wondering about that yeah so okay. I was we were shooting a video there's this artist named Wikes check him out on YouTube Wikes he's Wikes? Uh, how do you yeah. spell that uh, W-A-I-K-S yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wikes music. It reminds, you hold up. Side yeah. note. You remember uh, uh, what the fuck is that movie? 
the whale wash <laughs> <laughs> working at the whale that, wash. That's fucking uh, what is it shark. Called? Shark Tail. Yeah. Do you remember Shark Tales? No. No. Uh, okay. Well, there's a character in there, Mr. Sykes. He's, <laughs> <laughs> and he's a puffer fish. <laughs> and he tries to shake him up and he goes, and he, they're trying to do it. And he's like, don't worry about it. A lot of white fish can't do it. And I just, it was funny. White, or that's what he said. Yeah, white. Yeah. yeah he, so white and Sykes. There's a video we did with him. It's Come Through Girl. It's on the Optimize channel. Oh, it's, Yes, yeah. come through, girl. Yeah, yeah. come through, girl. That, that, that's the video we did. And so we were sitting. There's a hot tub scene in that. And so we were the first night we were shooting, kind of talking. We were sitting in the hot tub after, was kind of brainstorming ideas. And you know, I was I was kind of picking his brain because I like to you know like talk to the artists. You oh know, yeah. And, like, you know, see where they're coming from, pick their brain. And Absolutely. I was picking his brain, and he was kind of like talking to me, and we we're just kind of like talking about what we wanted to do with our careers and stuff. And mm-hmm. um, I remember I was like, yeah, you know, I've always thought about you know doing more than just videos and. You know, have my own brand, having merch, having a website, you know, just kind of building up my own thing. And right. I said, you know, I know it's ambitious, but like, you know, I felt really determined and driven with it. And I remember at the time I was like, I don't know what the fuck to call it though. Like yeah. I was like, what Bro, do that's I call the this? hardest part. We yeah. went through like 13 names. Yeah. Like, just trying to pick one. Like I was like, I don't really, you know, at the time my Instagram, I just had like a video Instagram set up mm-hmm. at the time. My Instagram was just post-production Hayden. Cause I like to edit, you know, okay. what started all this was editing. So, you know, it's post-production, but I was like, I don't want to be all of this around post-production. Hayden. Were you getting a lot of, uh, side jobs? Like when you were for hire? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely was able to find a lot of work, and I'd reach out a lot. I was pretty ambitious with it. Like, I'd always if I if I didn't have like one project lined up in like a week, I'd always get like, okay, I need to be doing something. Right. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, I'd be doing something like right now. Like, I gotta figure something. Whether it's just a car video or like just something small, like I, I gotta film something. You know. Well, yeah, that's that's really good on you. And mm-hmm. I would never say it's too ambitious or like too up forward. You're mm-hmm. in that you're in that hustle spot. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. we're both in that hustle. All of yeah. the people that I've you've worked with probably to this day are still in that hustle spot. You yeah. know, it never stops. Yeah, I was gonna say I always tell like the grind never stops. Like people always never, ask me, like, do you think you're gonna make it? And I'm like, What's the definition of making it? Like, yeah. you know, it's, it's like, like I don't think I'm ever gonna be sitting somewhere done and being like, Yeah, oh, I made hell it. No, no yeah, I'm gonna no, always no. be doing like, it. Like I was like, you know, people say like, Oh, what are you gonna do if you have fifteen million subs? It's like then it's on the road to thirty million. Yeah, like, like I'm like I'm not like all right, fifteen million. The number done. does it keeps going. Yeah, exactly. You know, like there's like there's people in this world. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, it's never I'm trying gonna... to be Michael Jackson famous, you know, you like know, go to Nigeria and they're like, Michael, but they'll be like, Ethan, and they'll be like, Hayden, you know, <laughs> optical <laughs> eyes. Hey, let's It'll go together great. one day, bro. Let's do bro. it. Hell yeah. Let's We're going it, to Nigeria. Nigeria. Are you coming? I'm there. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's go to Nigeria. <laughs> We're pulling up. We're pulling up. We're pulling up. Anyway, we yeah, don't it's... get sunburnt. All of us, yeah. Yeah. I, I am, I get burnt. I'm gonna keep that sunscreen <laughs> strapped to my fucking waistline, you know what I mean? Right yeah. next to the fanny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's good. I can relate, bro. I don't tan at all. No, <laughs> not at all, bro. <laughs> Me neither, bro. I yeah. went to Hawaii a lot as a kid, but always burnt as a kid. Yeah, dude. bro. I went to Hawaii a couple of times, bro. Those are my famous shitting myself places. <laughs> it's only been in Hawaii, really. But why'd you shit yourself in Hawaii? <laughs> oh, bro. If I could tell you why. It was, I, if only I knew. If only, yeah. It was kind of like my ass and my brain had a conversation without telling me, right? More so like it's like, you know? yeah. I don't, I don't know. I I've told this story before, but I went on I went on a walk and like I just didn't feel it at at the beginning of the walk, but then towards the midway of the walk, I was like, oh, right, I got a shit. So we're gonna have to turn around eventually. And so we we get to the turnaround spot, and it just wasn't fast enough. So we get like right to the door. We're outside the lobby. The shit happened. I'm in shorts, so I like oh, I'm holding my short tight to my leg so that the shit's not falling out. <laughs> but then I <laughs> I walk a little a bit into the lobby, and I kind of open it and just shake it out. That, that's horrible. Yeah, that, Hawaii was my biatch. <laughs> I, I like I like the detail of your storytelling, bro. You, should, you, you bro. should be making movies, dude. What <laughs> yeah. Bro, I'm working on it, man. I'm really I, I'm really working on. It. Well, you, I like to say storytelling is uh 95 percent made up, but like that story is 100 percent true. It, it just depends on how you tell it. You know, there's certain yeah. details, there's yeah. certain ways you can tell stories. Yeah, it's definitely something I've learned to uh perfect. You know, yeah. just because it's I love ask Tony. I'm the master of hearing something and then repeating it like it's my own. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. except he fucking butchers it every time, <laughs> and I'll know what he heard, and I'm like, bro, that's not how you say that. But it, it works. I'll get a laugh. I'm very, I'm very much think like a comedian and like, uh, you know, like a businessman, and like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm just always trying to get that laugh. I think it's from growing up as a broken child, but. It just always trying to get that laugh, you know? Yeah, I feel that. But 
What were we talking about again? I don't remember. I, totally, I don't know how we got here. We we're talking about how it got the uh, the name. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. yes, I was gonna yeah. in the hot tub. <laughs> yeah, so we're in so we're, we're in the hot tub. Good memory. We're talking yes. about Good it. Good memory. Thank you. We're talking about it. We're figuring out. And I was just like, I'm trying to think of it. And I remember, you know, I I had the little you know sterling silver fucking Cuban on, you no, know, sir. and, oh, and yeah. I remember he was like, you know, I, I forget what he said. He was like, uh, what about proudly ice productions? And I was like. That's not it. Like, I was like, no, that's, <laughs> not, that's not I was it. Like, I was like, that's not it. No. Next one. <laughs> I learned that. I was like, yeah. But I was like, no, no. no. Like, not proudly Ice Production. No, the no, ice no. is cool. The yeah. ice is cool. And so it's funny because I remember. Um, I like that, though, so much because I see something when I hear it. Yeah. And, and you know, I also remember I was like, well, you know, at the same time, like, you know, when I shoot these videos and I show, like, you know, I, I uh, turn, you know, I show on gimbal, you know, it's like stabilizer. And so I, I pause the gimbal and I, like, I show the artist, you know, what we, sh- what we shot. I've heard like you know, oh that's hard or that's ice, you know, or like you know they mm-hmm. do like the, the ice in their veins or like you know that's yeah. you with the camera or something. And I remember I was like I kind of like the ice part. Um, and so I just I kept thinking about it for a couple days, and then um, you know I do these things you know in the morning like I like to go on like skateboard rides around my neighborhood. Oh yeah, you know like yeah. some people have you, like you skate or longboard. Longboard. There you me, go. Longboard rides. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so I like to kind of do that. It, it, you know, it's like. It's some, your zen moment. Yeah, it's like it's, it's like you know like the some people like yoga. You know, yeah. I like just kind of like therapeutic. I like yeah, to take a shit and hit a dab. You know, like that's me in the morning. There you go. That's yeah. my zen. <laughs> I wake up. You know, I usually I like to cook chicken wings. I like to you know yeah. like I, uh, I, I air like fryer. To, yes. 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 Yes, sir. That's just Adult good. money air yeah. fryer. I tell you that. I, I wake up. Oh, that's horrible. Just I, kidding. I wake up, cook some chicken wings, and I like to go out and then uh, skateboard and Hell then. Yeah. I, I usually treat that as like my uh, like you know like, I like to get the thoughts going for the day because I yeah. always you know the the first part of the day like you know 11 a.m. to like you know four is like I always got grind off to go ice oh, you know yeah. like like that's like the productive time. after that you know I can kind of do just more research stuff or more like you know trying to understand like legal stuff but like the first time day is just like grinding videos grinding mm-hmm. growth. Um, and I like to keep and and then those skateboard rides are like an opportunity to like think of ideas just kind of get mm-hmm. like general ideas going. Um, and then I just, just like longboard. Yeah, you know? yeah. Who doesn't, man? And like it was the on wind in your hair. Yeah, it was on that longboard ride that I I just kept thinking of names. I liked ice. I wanted. I, I liked the idea of keeping ice in it. You wanted something ice for mm-hmm. sure. Is that mm-hmm. what it was? Something. Mm-hmm. I think I had like a couple ideas of like I forget what it was, but it, it was like I'm Oops, totally sorry. blanking. I, I I had it written down I think somewhere, but there was like iced or something. It was something related to cameras or iced, and then I remember. I remember the spot where it hit me in my neighborhood. And I remember, I don't know what it was. I honestly don't know what it was, but it just, optical lights just popped in my head. Yes, and it was sir. like, cause I was thinking of cameras, lenses, like imagery. Mm-hmm. And then I remember I was like, that's it. Yeah. Optical yeah. lights. Yeah. As soon as that's, you... yeah, that's the cause, one. Cause like the... That's exactly mm-hmm. perfect. I don't know. Exactly. Go ahead. I was gonna no, fuck it. I had the same that reaction. So like I great. remember, I was just I I like I just kind of stopped. Such a natural I, way to find I it. I wrote too. it down. Like I still have the note in my phone to this day. Like I, I wrote it. Oh, down. Oh, you'll never delete that. And I, never, never. And I have probably iced yeah. above it. Like <laughs> <laughs> we wrote down garbage. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I remember, I was like, I like the ice part, but we're not using that. Yeah, he's like, so I don't forget. <laughs> yeah, ice. it goes yeah. proudly ice productions optical ice. Yeah, and then, so I remember, I was like, that's it, optical ice. And so I went home. Like I rechanged all my video social media. Media, like you know to, like quick huh yeah you were like, like it that's it yeah, that's a hundred percent i branded it i hit up my buddy that does logos you know he, he, he's one of my frat brothers i said hey i need this this is a sketched out drawing i picked like a sony fx3 which is just a cinema camera mm-hmm. i said cover this with fucking ice dude like just you know put it like that and then um I remember he he sent me a, a, a first one back and a shout out to Alex by the way Alex Gomez he's a phenomenal designer. Hell yeah! Uh, shout out to you, Alex. Yeah. And Whoa. I, oh my god. There's an Alex who just hit me up on uh, Snapchat and was like, "I do GFX designs and shit. If you ever need that done, I wonder if it's the same kid." Hmm. Well, that'd be crazy. Yeah. Um. But and I remember he sent me one back and it was like you know I told him I, I kind of draw a little sketch. I suck at like drawing and mm-hmm. writing, but I was just like, here, like just kind of take this and. You know, obviously the logo is like you know on the on the thumbnail. That's what I was like envisioning, and he sent me one back first. It was actually pretty good, but I remember it was like, it, I was like, dude, I don't need fucking cum all over the camera, like, <laughs> like that. And I was like, I was like, I was like, it's not that. It's like it needs too to be drippy. Fl- yeah, I was like, it's too drippy. I was like, you know, I was like, I was like, I like like how it's like like white with the texture, but like not like that. And he yeah. was like, because he asked me, he was like, what what is this for again? Like you know, and I was like, I was like, no, like ice. And he was like, oh okay, like like make it sharper. And then yeah. and then the, the, the a couple after a couple drafts, the one that he sent, I was like, that's it, that's the one. And, yeah. Uh, well, good yeah. on you for just like persevering and knowing what you fucking want, because yeah. like 
a lot of people would just be like, ah, I'll work with it, you know, like, eh. that works. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's like, if you're paying for something, if you want something for your company, especially, mm. it's like, it's got to be perfect. And mm. I, I totally get you with that. Like, just like the how, because like the way our name came about, it's like, we were thinking so hard. You remember? Yeah, for a long time. Like, long time. For it was like, we weeks. didn't even come up with it, bro. Like, someone else was like, what about E.T. Homegrown? And we were mm. like, I'm gonna write it down. And I'm like, I'll write it. And then it, it was like we were looking at the list, and we were like, all right, that's probably the best one right there. Yeah, right. yeah I tell, I tell that to Noah the way because his name's Noah. I was like, I was like, you know, probably ice was it, but like, I gotta give you credit. Put the ice in my head. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I appreciate that, bud. Like, right. Yeah. Hell yeah, but yeah. like when I hear optical ice, the way I was thinking about it is like. Rappers be showing off their ice, you know, yeah. like their chains. Yeah. For you, it's like you're showing off your videos. It's your optical ice. That's what it is. It's yeah. like yeah. instead that's of a flex. chain, that's your flex. It's yeah. your videos, that's your kind of, work. That's what I like about it too. Yeah. That, that's kind of, you know, like when I was saying, like some of the artists are like, oh, that's just cold. It's like optical yeah. ice. Like you hit it. I'm happy There's to see that you, other people realize Bro, that. like, yeah, yeah it, it, from your, from like just this quick interaction that we've had before off mic and like from like your whole channel setup. It's icy. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you yeah. are an icy man. Like, yeah. I can tell. I appreciate that. Like, you're yeah. doing it the right way. You're trying to be as legal as you can about I, it. Uh, I told that Mike Necta guy, I said, hey, when I got the money, I want, like, that logo on a pendant. You know what Ooh, I mean? Like, sure. I was like, yeah, I was like, you that know, would we're going to make a custom pendant with that, you know? And I was like, yeah, it's going to be filthy. But That would be hella hard. cool, bro. Yeah. And, but, yeah, I put a lot of time into, like, you know, kind of, like, think about the aesthetic of the channel, the aesthetics of the video, and, you know, how I want to use it. And even, like, how, like, you know, like, I use colors in the camera. Kind of, you notice know, so there's a lot of blue in the yeah. videos and stuff. Mm -hmm. I do, you know, <laughs> this, this is t the time to ask all my video questions. It's mm -hmm. like, you do have that blue tint. And is that just something like, because I've seen it before. Mm -hmm. People, they do that, right? They change the color uh, or, like, take yeah, a so red out. Because I know there's three colors we can really see. Red, green, and mm -hmm. blue or whatever the fuck. I don't recall. So, it, it, you basically, when you shoot footage, uh, a lot of times you can, like, do what's called color grading. So a lot of times when you shoot, you shoot in what's called log. That's basically like flat image profile. So it takes out all the saturation, highlights, midtones. Like it just, it makes it like look really gray. And okay. you know, it's funny when I shoot, like a lot of artists are like, that's what it looks like. I'm like, just, just, just trust bro. Yeah, like, hold he's, on. Second, yeah. Yeah. Second. he's like, trust the vision. Yeah. <laughs> and then what you can do is you can go in and you can like color grade it and you can bring it up and you can, you know, you can dial in those colors how you want. But it's um, a lot easier to do when you record it gray. Yeah. Yeah. It basically like can, it can keep all the, the information. You have to do a lot of work with the color. Um, but you can, you get, you basically like can keep your dynamic range. You can like, you know, keep all the, uh, the, the skin tones and the stuff in the, in the, um, in the shot without, you know, cause if you just shoot in like a regular profile and then you try to like, you don't have as much control over your colors as you do if you shoot in log. Okay. Um, but, but and yeah. is that something that your college has helped you with like tremendously or like, do you I feel mean, like you knew a lot of shit before that? I mean, probably not you can just go on youtube and just search up like right. you know like i shoot i shoot on sony like you know I, i'm a sony user so it's like you just switch up like s log three exposure guide mm -hmm. you don't need to go to school for that yeah, right exactly. yeah. well i mean like, shit a lot of days or i mean a lot of times nowadays you don't need to go to school for shit yeah I'm but it's realizing that, that it's that piece of paper though like if you ever wanted to go work on like you know like tv production mm -hmm. what you went to school for that mm -hmm. whatever degree you you're gonna get it, they're gonna want you more than someone who's probably never done something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I see what you mean. Yeah, and like you know, nowadays it just gets that foot in the door. Yeah, and that's kind of how I felt too. Like especially during like online classes, like oh you yeah, know, that's probably oh, uh, COVID yeah. shitty. Yeah, like we're, I'm just like you know, like we're we're, we're kind of shooting these. We weren't even really shooting these projects. Like you know, there was one class that they're having this like record shit on like a Zoom call, and I was like. You know, because I mean, there's something else we could really do. You know, yeah, like yeah. You know, usually it's like we'd, in a big studio, and I was just kind of like, I was like, man, like this is this really ain't it. Like you know, I, I, like, like, like you know, I'm, I'm shooting my own projects on like you know a fucking full cinema camera, and like we're just using my laptop, you know, crappy little. Right. It's you know, like, what do I pay all this money for? Yeah, I was like, all right. I mean, I God bless. Like God forbid, there's nothing else we can really do. Like I get mm -hmm. it, COVID sucks and shit, but yeah. um, thankfully, uh, we're kind of at least hopefully nearing towards a understanding with COVID, I hope, you know, like <laughs> yeah. we all understand each other. We're going to do, and we're going to get back to regular life. I yeah, hope, hopefully. I hope like, absolutely. I don't know, but I also <clears throat> keep seeing all these memes about like in 2035, when you ever see them where there's like someone with a shotgun and it's a song and they have zombies knocking on the door and they're like, <laughs> oh, <I have laughs> everyone those. who didn't get the vid, <laughs> go, yeah. or the vid shot. And I was like, damn, what if it really do? I hope not, you know, but yeah, uh, you, you never know.
I don't want to scare you because <laughs> you <laughs> told me you got the shot. But you got a blue WRX, bro. I, I, I think that is fucking filthy, yeah. by the way. I like WRX. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big car guy. Yeah. You Subaru guy? Yeah, I'm a Subaru guy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Stage two, you know. <laughs> Shout out to Ron Watson, Fat Body Tuning, doing that work on the uh, yeah, yeah, bro. Sure. I know nothing about cars, but I love to look at them yeah. and drive no, them. I'm a, I'm a big Subaru guy. Like, I, I like WRXs, you know, like. They're not a, they're not like an M4 or anything super bougie, but they got, you know, they're fun to drive. Oh and, yeah, bro. You know. And the WRX definitely looks sexy when you're driving it down the road. Yeah, I like, you know, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. I like the kind of, uh, what would you kind of call that body shape? Wide it's, body? No, uh, it's I didn't, got, I didn't it's got like the, the hatchback, right? Mine's yeah. no, mine's a sedan. They don't make hatches for my generation. Oh, yeah. okay. But that, that is a WRX yeah, usually, yeah, no. right? Yeah, like yeah. they have the hatchback. They, they used to have the hatchback. I, they don't make it anymore, but they had, they, they had the hatch for a while. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cause I, those ones, the older ones, those look cool too yeah but but being blue your car insurance huh it's probably ass yeah yeah blue wrx yep yeah. i mean teenage hmm. driver with the wrx yeah just, yeah, yeah. yeah it sucks yeah. Yeah. yeah that's why i don't have insurance <laughs> don't come after me coppers but i do not bro i do not let's get into more uh conversations about about your uh catalog here because you have done a lot of shit and i definitely want to uh sh- shed some yeah. light on what yeah. you have done uh this baby freestyle Tell me a little bit about how that came about. Like, yeah, so uh, that's with uh, CJ Eleven. Check him out on SoundCloud. CJ Eleven. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, just another thing. Like, yeah, he reached out to me and he was like, "Hey, let's shoot a video." Sent me the song and uh, we were going out. We just we we shot it and uh, we just kind of planned it out. And uh, yeah, I mean, just that was just another one of the usual works, you know. Like that just, one was pretty straightforward, though. Had you ever met? So a lot of these guys are, have you meet them I usually meet through the work. The, I mean, through, I like to get on like a FaceTime call or a Zoom call and just kind of like pick brain, like pick each other's brain, and get ideas for it. Right. Um, which I mean, I did with CJ. Like we we got on, uh, FaceTime a couple times. Um, but usually, like I meet them up in person and then we like shoot the video. It's usually the first. Time. But a lot of time you're meeting these guys because of work, right? Yeah. 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 Like I probably would have never run into him if he like didn't, you know. Work, yeah. Reach didn't work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you do you find you get a lot more reach outs or you get to reach in more? It, it flipped. So what I was when, when when COVID happened, it was me firing out DMs left and right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, now it's like I still do sometimes if there's a guy that I'm like, oh, I really like this guy, or you know, oh, that's a fire car, I want to go shoot it or something. Yeah. Um, then I, I reach out. But now it's like, I, I mean, almost all those guys on that list, they've reached out to me, and they're mm-hmm. just like, hey, you know, I I heard your, you know, either sometimes they just saw the stuff, or you know, I I I, I knew you through. Blank, blank, blank. And yeah, then yeah. I just want to work. And then I'm like, okay, you know, like, you know, this is kind of, you know, how I do things. You know, this is, you know, I, I'm, I'm like not very lenient on price, but like, you know, mm-hmm. like it's, I can understand everyone's got their own situations. and Right. Uh, but at the end of the day, your business. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then, you know, I'm like, we can't, I, but, you know, the most important thing before, like, we talk money is like, you know, like, ideas. Set, yeah, send yeah. me the song. Yeah, send like, me the song. Like, so you know, I can yeah. like I, it. I or... was like, I'm not going to ask you for a lot of money if I can't shoot a video for you. And so yeah, it's like, you nice. know, I was like, I was like, you know, if the song's fire, then we can get into all that. But, um, mm-hmm. but yeah, that's kind of usually how it goes. And so recently I've been blessed to the point where, you know, I'm getting a lot of DMs, but, you know, I'm answering a lot of these. I'm like, you know, hey, this is fire, but, you know, cause like I'm booked up till like, probably like mid end July, you know, mm-hmm. and that, that's I mean, great though. Yeah. I mean, that, I, it probably feels good. Huh? Yeah. Like, no, it feels as good. a new like, company there's, to there's have a, work. There's booked. a lot, like there's a lot coming up for this channel. Like, so there's some stuff I can't even talk about. Like, you know, mm, that's, like, that's be, the best. Be sure to check off the glide. Like there's going to be, there's a lot of stuff coming up. Like there's, I think like next week we're probably shooting the craziest video I've ever shot. Damn. Uh, yeah. yeah. Is it a car or music video? Can you kind of give any kind of um, thing? Um, I don't want to tease too much, <laughs> but we spent months and thousands of dollars getting everything together there's gonna be some guns there's gonna Ooh, be some, okay. there's that's gonna, fucking awesome yeah bro. like there's yeah, gonna be a lot of first shots for you like uh, first time shooting some stuff first time shooting some stuff i i, I was going through the shot list last night kind of going through the rundown it's a lot mm-hmm. uh this is probably one of my first times like we're using like professional actors we're getting everything together um that's pretty dope. The, the, That's the, pretty cool. The guy is the the artist is you know like I said I'm trying to keep everything on low right now. The artist is pretty talented. Um, this is one of his first music videos, and I think he's a pretty under the radar guy. And I, I, I you think, think he, this is gonna do some good for him? I think it will do some good for him. Yeah. I I mean like I like said I think that he's pretty under the radar, and so uh, but yeah I think the video is definitely gonna be definitely gonna be pretty crazy. That's so, fucking dope. I love yeah. to hear that type of stuff, man. And like yeah. just seeing your passion for your work <clears throat> is crazy. And yeah. you're 21, right? Like mm-hmm. so so it's like. And you're not hitting nicotine. You were telling me you don't smoke weed. Not really, no. We don't smoke weed. Have you smoked weed? 
I mean, I've, I've, I've tried weed before, you yeah. know, but like, not, have I regularly? No, I don't no? know I guess about weed. Are you much of a, much of a drinker? Not really, no. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so what's your, uh, what, what would they call escape. that? Escape. Yeah, no, 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 I wouldn't say escape because not everyone needs to escape, Tony. Some oh, people well, like life. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm talking yeah. about like, um, a vice, I guess. What's your vice? Like that, that probably little thing you do that you're like, ah, I like this, but Probably the longboarding, right? Yeah, I'd probably say the longboarding, like, you know, I mean, the trip of drugs now. I mean, I take Adderall, but that's prescribed. You right, know? Like, right. Um, that's how you get through them long shifts, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, Taylor honestly, created meth, you know. Yeah, I mean, I like to dirt bike too. Like, you know, there like you that's go. you know, like I, I don't know if I'd say that's a vice. It's more of a hobby. You know, that's something I like to do with my father. He's really into dirt biking. He's a lot. Better, yeah. He's a lot better at than I am. You know, but you got a good relationship with your dad. Oh yeah, yeah. With with all my family, I do. Yeah. That's hella cool. Yeah. That's a big uh, uh, constant on our show is daddy issues. So it's really cool to see that you don't have any. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I, I got to give a lot of love to my parents, man, and they're they're big. And you know, my sister too. Like they're a big supporter of uh, of what I do. And they like what you do. Yeah, it, you know, it's nice. Cause I remember, I remember like when I was a kid, you, you know, it. like being as a kid, you know, like I remember, I want to say when I was like, you know, younger, I had like, you know, I was like, Oh, I want to be a, you know, like a professional boxer or like a you know, professional football player. And I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. It wasn't right. going to happen. Yeah. You know, I, but my father always kind of was like, you know, he never told me no, but he was always kind of like, you know, he worst going to let you find out, you know, like every kid when they're younger wants to be like a star athlete. Right. Or yeah, like that. Absolutely. I wanted to be a football player. I didn't even play football. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, I, was, I, was, yeah. I was there. And so, but it's nice because, you know, seeing this now and seeing, you know, this, it's it's like, you know, seeing my dad and my parents be like very, very supportive of what I'm trying to do. And like, mm -hmm. you know, I can tell it's like genuine and, you know, like, and they like, you know, they genuinely believe in me. It's right. Like, and it's fun know. for you probably to go tell them cool things that happen like, yeah no I, lo proud. I love to share it with both my parents you know we'll just be talking i'm telling like yo oh, we're doing this for this video or you know oh we're, we're getting this for this video and you know or oh, i talked to the artist you know oh, i'm gonna be doing this you know and i'll come downstairs with all my gear go pack the car i'm just like hey i'll be right back i'm gonna go shoot this video and they're like all right go kill it you know mm, and i'm yeah. like you know that's or, awesome i'm sending yeah. you know, shout out your parents yeah shout out mom and dad shout uh, out mom and dad tim and kathy appreciate Hell everything yeah you tim do. and kathy <laughs> shout out y'all that's yeah. some cool names tim oh, and yeah. kathy yeah. i like that <laughs> But it's um, very, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll send them, I send them emails and I'm like, you know, hey, cause you know, my dumb ass, I, I don't have the printer hooked up with my computer at home. So I'm like, Hey dad, print the shot list for me. Or yeah. Hey dad, print this contract for me. Like, you know, we print this shit out. And I was like, I, and he's like, all right, I got you. You know, do you drop the contracts or you got someone who does that? So contracts are actually just something that I'm recent, more recently getting into. Um, we recently like, you know, had the, had the brand become an official like LLC with like trademarks and stuff. Um, I don't do the contracts myself. A lot of these artists, these were not contracted videos, but, um, that's something that is definitely coming up more recently and it's it's a blessing to be able to have like my dad in the corner who's kind of like you know got some knowledge around that yeah you were kind of saying you said he was kind of like in the field what, what do you mean by like so he doesn't actually work in entertainment um okay. but you know we i've been on like zoom calls and meetings with like you know business people and like lawyers and stuff um and i don't really know how he knows this shit but like you know like he's been able to like name drop stuff and name drop like certain forums and like name drop info and i'm like and i'm like oh, how so do you he's just a smart man i guess you know, <laughs> yeah. like, uh, he is exactly yeah, yeah. that's I, what our manager do like, i was she like drops the you know, knowledge we, so we were at there was a uh, there was like a uh, uh entrepreneurs like uh media hosted by the seattle public library where they were given like you know steps of like growing a business okay. and i remember they were kind of teaching like a zoom class and since like they asked us questions and then they'd be like does anyone know the answer <laughs> to this you know and me i was like i don't really know a lot of this like i'm not a business major and i was, I was there with my dad and he was just like, oh, it's that one. And then like, there was like 15 people in the class. No one would say anything. And it turns out to be that one. He did this like for like five questions. And he was right. And I'm like, how do you know this shit? Like, <laughs> I was like, like, do you got a secret life? I know. I was I like, know about Tim. I, I was like, I was like, I was like, thank you for help. Like, thank you for being here. Like, yeah. I would have never guessed that. I'm <laughs> right? like, what? Yeah. And so I feel like that all the time. Sometimes you just need someone to ask the right question, mm -hmm. you know, like to, cause it, it's like some people just don't. Like, like you were saying with the video stuff, mm -hmm. I have no idea what a log color information and all that shit is that mm -hmm. you were saying, but mm -hmm. it's very important, you know? So like for you to say, like, uh, you could look it up on YouTube. It's like, I wouldn't have known what to YouTube, yeah, you know? Yeah, so yeah. it's like, it's good that you had him to be like, Hey, this is what that is. You know, yeah. that's what that is. You, this is what this is. And it, it is great. And like you said, yeah. it's a blessing to have him in your corner. man. Yeah. I mean, there is, I remember there was one time that. Um, I'm trying to get the merch up and designed. The yes. Optimized merch, you know, website coming up soon. You know? Do you do any kind of uh, your own designs for that? Uh, a little bit, but I like to have like other people help me yeah, with it. Yeah, outsource. I want to make sure it's done right. But, right. you know, I was telling them like, you know, like, you know, a couple ideas I had for um, you know, how I wanted to do it. And he was like, you know, nah, like that's a terrible idea. And then, he, he, you know, and I was like, okay, like, like I'll listen to him. And, 
and he, he was telling me like, you know, how to do it with like, you know, inventory and stuff like that. And I was just kind of, I'll be honest with you. Like, I don't, I don't even know exactly what he said, like, right. but I was just like, Oh, that's a good idea. I never thought about that way. Yeah. So it was kind of like, like he was probably telling you how like uh, ordering, huh? Like yeah, order, get like, some stock in, and yeah, then sell it that it, way. It was like a good business model in a sense, and yeah. he was kind of breaking it down for what's a good way to do it. And then I was just kind of like, "That's a really good point." <laughs> like I would have never looked at that way. And right. So that that it's was a lot of work too, adding merch to it. It is now yeah. you're gonna be having to do ship outs and you know mm -hmm. transactions and shit. But it's a lot. It. It, it's what gives that that extra bit of money every month into your business, you yeah. know, yeah. which pays you at the end of the day, right? Yeah, I, you know, and it's not even about the money, um, but I mean, it, right? Yeah, but you know, and I've also said like, you know, like we're thinking school might you know open up in fall and down in LA, and so I was like, if I go back down, like I was like, yo, I'd buy like just fifty shirts and just hand them out to people, you know, right. just be yeah, like, hey, you know, here, free shirt, you know, mm -hmm. like wear this shit, you That's know, promotion. Something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, just, like yeah. I, I would have no issue doing that, or like, you know, like get a bunch of stickers and just like hand them out, like you Hell know, yeah. like for your laptops or something, you know, just yeah, we did a line of stickers like that too. It was pretty cool, yeah. like uh, perfect for hydros and shit. And if you do that, you sticker mu mule. Sticker, sticker mule. mule. They're yeah. really good yeah. at uh, yeah. getting some high quality stickers to you. And they throw cheap. you deals. Yeah, like you it's like quantity. And like a few days later, they're like. Yo, get this for like fifty percent off, and you're like, "Fuck, might as well." Yeah, <laughs> it's like um, I could use more stickers. <laughs> yeah, coasters. Yeah. It's pretty cool though. Like the the merch lane is definitely uh confusing. Like mm -hmm. I'm, we're trying to go through it ourselves mm -hmm. and like get a whole uh website set up, you know, and like find a a company to do the the shipping and like all of that, and it, it's a lot, but it's fun, you know. That's the type of work at the at the end of the day that just isn't work, you yeah, know. It's yeah. shit you want to do. That's that learning curve. No, I've always <laughs> said like, when it comes to like what you're doing in life, is like you should never like just view your work as work. And like right. in my opinion, if yeah. you view whatever you're doing as work, like you're already off on the wrong foot. Mm -hmm. Like exactly. you know, in my opinion, and like I've always said like. You know, one of the things that like inspired me to want to do my own thing was it was like, you know, I don't want to work for somebody their whole life. You Bro, know, yes. like, you know, y y you look Fuck at companies, yeah. <laughs> literally, unless it's my own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Work you... for me. Yeah. Or optical eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or optical eyes. Like I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, but, but it's like, fuck working for someone. Because at the end of the day, you're just a number on their board. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. You know, it was like not only that, it was just like, you know, there's just so much stuff you can do with starting your own thing. You know I mean? Mm, yeah. Exactly. It's daunting to so many people, but it's like, you know, but, but you're just an employee, you know, if you just work for someone else, you're just, employee, you're just fireable. There's a very interesting yeah. graph I saw where they were comparing. It was like the people that were just going for like a nine to five for like mm. the stable job. Um, the and the safe job. Yeah. The, Don't I, be oh, safe. I, dude, I hate it when people say that. The I safe, hate that. Bro. Oh, it makes me, I, or I like the, when people are like, yo, what's your backup plan? Bitch, this is my yeah, plan. I'm like, there I'm is like, no uh, backup. There's no I'm side. Like, or like the word stability. Happen. I'm like, ugh. Yeah. Like I, that's the, it's yeah. like, bitch, I have a day job for now. And when that, when this company blows up, I'm quitting. Mm -hmm. I've I'm always like said that. like stability is the definition of how much you're willing to work at. Like you can make it stable. Like yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I've always said like people say like, oh, is that then make it stable. You know what I mean? Like Absolutely. if it's what you want to do, figure out a way to make it stable, make mm -hmm. it happen. And, um, right. Like you say, you booked out through July. So yeah. it's stable yeah. if you work, you know? And like, so, and I remember there's a graph that I had seen. I feel like it, I saw a Ted talk somewhere. And it was showing the happiness of people that were working nine to five and then entrepreneurs. And at the very beginning, the nine to five people were a lot happier because mm -hmm. you know, they, they just got a job and the entrepreneurs stressed because they were just starting out. Like, mm -hmm. They didn't trying have to a lot find of money. Work. Yeah, they were trying to put it all together. Like it was very daunting. Yeah. And then they showed it like 20 years down the line. It was flipped. Yeah. You know, they were saying that the entrepreneurs that like powered through, the people that powered through, that built their own thing, they loved it. They didn't work no nine mm -hmm. to five. They, w they made so much money. Like it was just, life was great. But the people doing the nine to five, they just kind of got burnt out going through that cycle. And, exactly. You know, I think a lot of people like, you know, I've talked to a lot of people in my life that have like some sort of vision or they, they've always mm -hmm. wanted to, whatever field it is to like, you know, be the boss or be the CEO. It's just kind of taking that first step is, mm -hmm. is can be daunting. And, you know, it was, I was in that same boat too. I was always like, I don't know, maybe I should just stay like a videographer. But then I was like, I was like, no, like. I don't limit myself. You exactly. Know what I mean? like, it's like, yeah. why Why would I want to get hired when I could be the guy <laughs> yeah. that's doing the yeah, hiring? Yeah, exactly. You, know? and you it's can a, do whatever you want to do at that point. You know? It's a great feeling to see your vision like come to life type mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, that's always been kind of my opinion is, you know, I, like I said, I see, I, unfortunately, I do see a lot of people and, you know, even even sometimes, you know, like at school and, you know, not, not necessarily at college. Like I, I think I see a lot of people that are pretty good at college, but, you know, I've seen people in my life that, um, you know, they're good people. They're my good friends. But, um, you know, unfortunately, there's there's times where it's just like, you know, they, there's something they really want to do. But, 
you know, it's like they're just they're just kind of unwilling to take that first step. And I, you know, I, I don't know, like, you know, I want to help them. I want to be like, you know, what can I do to help you with that? But like uh, there, that there really isn't a lot. Us, you know, as people that are friends to those people, mm-hmm. there's not a lot you can do besides, yeah. you know, go, you know, like it's on you. Yeah. Uh, like you, you, you're living in a because that in my head when people are scared or. Or just kind of like you said, daunted by the idea of starting. Mm-hmm. It's because they're living right there in a world of what if, what if not, what yeah. if not. Yeah. And doubt. They're it's just so much doubt. Because it's yeah. like they're scared to put themselves out there because they're scared what if somebody doesn't like it. Or they they're wanna, scared. They don't want to step out of that comfort zone. Right. Yeah. And it's like mm-hmm. that, like you said, those people who go to nine to fives, they're comfortable with that. They know they're <laughs> going to get home mm-hmm. at five. You know, they're going to whatever the hours may be. They're going to mm-hmm. have that. It's going to be stable. And a lot of people look for, like you said, stability. But it's mm-hmm. like if you can most companies, they don't do great in their first three years yeah, like yeah. really you won't make money the first year probably not unless you're like doing really well mm-hmm. you know the second year you might break even this is just kind of like general basis you know you yeah. might break even third year you might make a little profit but you're still not making much but if you can stick it out and get to five years just do five years of you doing your own company mm-hmm. i promise you in that fifth year your life is completely changed oh, yeah. Yeah. like just completely changed you're living better mm-hmm. you know you're, you're happy with what better. you're doing and it's like that's what people don't understand it's like like you got, you got to remember like <clears throat> fucking the dude who made Google or the computers what's his name the uh, the dude who was in the garage the Apple one? yeah uh, Steve, Steve Jobs, Jobs. Steve Jobs yeah. right he started yeah. in a garage mm-hmm. you know he was doing it behind closed doors mm-hmm. where nobody was and people always told him a computer in everyone's home that's going <laughs> to yeah. you're stupid like yeah, that's yeah. never going to happen yeah, like, you know what i mean that. He, he probably was in that garage for years yeah. until one day, what? Now now we have them everywhere. Yeah. They're at the I mean, workplace. They're in yeah, our hands right here, all yeah. the time, We're in our pockets. You know what I mean? Like, it's those people who didn't give up that give us the chance now to do whatever exactly. we want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, and you're, you're, you're totally right. You know, it's like, it's you just got to go chase it in a sense. Like, it's cliche, you know? Like, it is cliche. But all, you know, I, this is my feel on cliches. It wouldn't be cliche if it didn't fucking work. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. they call it cliche because people say it and it works. Yeah. You know, it's like it, it's that's what it is. You know, like whenever somebody says, oh, that's very cliche. It's like, well, why don't you listen to it and maybe take it in and understand it on a real level because it works. Yeah. You know, like, oh, yeah, like all of that shit. It's it, 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 it and with with business and shit like this, it's, it's always however much you put in is how much you're going to get out. Yeah. You know? Totally and that, right. and if you can learn to do that with like everything in your life, just putting in as much as you want to get out, everything is going to start to be better. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, like people who want to lose weight, you put good food in your body, you're going <laughs> to lose weight. You know, yeah. you, you want to do a business, you put long hours into it. You're going to receive some, something back eventually. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. So it's like, you got to just be mentally and physically prepared. And I feel like a lot of people our age, you know, um, give up too quick. They do. They're, they're very giver uppers. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you know, we're 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 tapped into. Uh, we're all of us. We're blessed in this position to be in a spotlight and kind of, kind of help navigate the youth and the people, our peers, and be like, hey, wake up! You can do this shit too. Yeah, exactly. You know, like he he started it six months ago and had this vision since eighth grade. Like before that, like nice, this. Nice it, book for months. You know yeah. what I mean? And he's booked for months, and he just. You know, like you said, you just started your company six months ago. You you have what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight videos on your official YouTube channel, mm-hmm. and you're killing it. And you're you're booked out Appreciate through July. Thank like you. Yeah. Optical Ice is a name to remember. Just remember that. And whenever you're feeling down, remember that ET Homegrown and Optical Ice and everyone out there that's doing it had a vision and were exactly where you were. We were scared too, yeah. but we just pushed through that wall, and now we're 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 all living happier. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. I'm sure you love being able to go shoot videos, dude. It's like it's a dream, bro. It it like I remember that that's the best feeling. I got the car full. I got the WRX full yep. of all that equipment, and yeah, I'm just like right. driving. I'm like, dude, I'm going to shoot another video. And you know, that, and it's it like, feels so good. It's, it's like hell yeah, you know. It's like I, I, it just it does. Or you know, I'm driving home and I'm offloading the footage, and I just kind of like see it. It's just like hell yeah. And there's another video for the channel. Another video hell for yeah. the channel. It's like. I love that. And and you, I love it too, man. You pull up and all, and the people that you're pulling up for always happy to see you. Yeah, they're always yeah, like, yeah. yep, he's here. The yep, dude is here. Yep, yep. It's about to go down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shout out shout out to Scooter Bands, bro. When you have him on the podcast, Hell we, yeah, bro. we were pulling up for the video. He was all happy. I was pulling up. I was like, dude, let's, bro, this, Scoot- this dude's energy. I was like, let's yeah. do this, bro. Let's shoot that video. Scooter Bands is a man that needs to be famous now. Like he, energy's bro, bro. He's such a genuine dude. Such right. a nice guy. Mm. Pleasant to work with. Like Literally, he, he works around you. Whatever you 
got to do, he's there, you know, yeah. and like, and, and he's very creative, but yeah. I, I like, uh, it's dope that you guys got to work because, you know, that's gen or I mean, pretty much how we met and how yeah. we're doing this yeah. and how that's our crazy. fans get to, yeah. you know, meet you. And, uh, <laughs> it, it's a cool position to be in. Like, I'm glad that we both have these things. You know, because we probably would have never met in day to day yeah. life. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You know, so it's like it's cool that now, you know, we have a friend in this business game and, mm -hmm. you know, someone who also shares vision. Right. It's really cool. I got yeah. a question for you. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, oh, so you're going to speak? <laughs> <laughs> I've been facing this way the whole time. I'm talking to you. No, oh, that's how it usually goes. Yeah. So, do you prefer to shoot like the car videos or like music videos? What's your video, like your favorite thing to be shooting? Yeah, I definitely like shooting music videos. Um, I've, I just have always felt that, you know, I, I have a lot of dope ideas for music videos. I think that, um, you know, obviously I'm balling on a budget. You know, like it's a, it's a lot of these videos are out of my own pocket, out of yes, the owner's pocket. Um, I, I, I like to make music videos. I think there's good growth. I think that here in Seattle, there's like a good underground scene that black guys, seniors guys that can break out and break yeah. it through. So, um, I have, al I've always thought like, you know, being able to tap in that, in that side of the city side of the okay. industry. Um, I want to do more than just music videos. I know like the channel's mainly music videos right now. And I think it yeah. always, music videos, I think are always going to be a big base for optical ice. Yeah. And I think that I definitely want to work with, you know, bigger artists at, at some point in my life. But, uh, you know, I've had ideas for, you know, um, uh, uh, television shows for, you know, optical yeah. lights and, you know, um, uh, web series. That's yeah. what web series. That's what's called. I was like, okay. I'm the name. I was like, like, like iCarly. Hell yeah. <laughs> sure, bro. Why not? Yeah. Did you watch iCarly? I did watch iCarly. This is our yeah. version of iCarly. For yeah, real, exactly. this is our version, except we don't got no I'm Freddy. Like, I'm like Freddy with the camera. Yeah, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we ain't got no Freddy. Here's uh, Freddy. Yeah, exactly. But yes, yeah, brother, like it's it's cool. Did you see they're coming out with another? I like, did. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that. <laughs> I am excited. Is it too. is yeah. it uh is it cool to be on like this side of the camera? Because I know you. It's usually different. Stand. Yeah, <laughs> it's different. you know, <laughs> I'm always behind the scenes. Yeah, huh? I'm always like behind the camera. Like, all right, do do it like that, or do it like this, or you know, or like you hold it up like that. And now it's kind of like, yeah, it's different being on this side of the camera. Yeah. You know, I got my own lighting set up, and I always put on the artist, and now it's like seeing on me. It's it's different. It's Hell cool yeah. though. It's definitely a cool experience being on this side of the camera. Hell yeah, yeah bro! Absolutely. And it's your first podcast. You were yeah, saying. Yeah, this so is like, my first podcast. That's cool. And yeah. I mean, this is my first podcast I've ever made. So like, that's cool. Hell yeah. You know, a lot of firsts. I'm a big guy on firsts, just because like <clears> I do a lot of firsts. You know. It's really cool. I like, I always remember a first, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's just the type of shit that sticks with me. But. So do you like to, do you like to film like events and shit too? Like, have I you do. done that before? Yeah. So the events, uh, the events and videos events vibes. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, there's a, uh, there's going to be some pretty big events upcoming with optical ice. Some stuff I can't talk about, but okay, okay. there's some, there's some pretty big stuff in the works that we can, we can be get more into later down the line during the summer but oh, yeah, bro. um but there's uh there's one that we're doing um with uh there's there's a video on there with a uh, young boy miracle um okay. he's got a live show coming up that we're going to be doing promotion for we're going to be doing after movie on the channel you know hell yeah, yeah. bro that's fucking dope yeah, you should exactly. do like a whole shoot of the of some of the concert oh, you yeah some yeah concert we're, clips. we're doing a whole like live show after movie yes, you know bro, like that'd stuff be like dope. that yeah check out young boy miracle he, he's actually popping off he's got like a hundred thousand really? monthly listeners he's that's doing, fucking okay. dope, he's bro. probably one of the best artists i've worked with you know i remember when he dm me that was one of the first songs that you know when we shot the "Love Me All the Sudden" music video. Mm -hmm. um, that that actually dropped on promoting sounds first, um, and that was your fourth video, like that. Or yeah, yeah that was so, your fourth so, video. Yeah, so that that was posted later. That went up actually on promoting sounds back in like December. Oh, um, okay. So yeah, what, so that would have been before Step Back. Yeah, that that was before that was before um, Optical Ice was even up. If you oh, go okay. back, if you go on promote, the video has like I think it has like a hundred thousand views or something like that because oh, it's, shit. it's I mean it's on promoting sounds, but. Um, if you, if you go back and you just search up, like if you go on YouTube, just search like, Hey, Bushville, it'll come up or something. Um, but, and I remember, um, when the first time he sent me that song, I listened to it. I was like, well, this guy's good. Mm -hmm. Like he was one of the first artists that I was like, you know, like I actually like really like, I'd see myself just listening to this just for the sake of like, just really enjoying it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and then me and him had kind of been in touch with doing, um, doing more work. And I mean, he's pretty busy. Like he, he's actually like one of the artists that worker that's like really going places. Like I said, he's got like a hundred thousand on Spotify mm -hmm. and that's stuff. Awesome. Uh, and he's got a big follow. He's got, I'm not a huge following, but he's, he's pretty, you know, he's definitely getting, he's getting there. Yeah, yeah. He's getting there. Um, and so, and so, yeah, he's going to be doing a live show. I bet that was a pretty good, uh, person that was very business minded, huh? Yeah. He like was, he was really, easy yeah, to work yeah. With, he was very easy to work with. And you know, I, sh that was the first video we shot. And so it was kind of a blessing. I was able to shoot his first video and, okay. um, you know, he was awesome to work with. You know, I just like, I kind of like, you know, laid out to care. I want to do something like this. And, 
Um, you know, I kind of like this setting, and um, he was just like, hell yeah, let's go for it. And he, I mean, he loved it. He, he had a blast with it. And I spent a lot of time on that video. You know, mm-hmm. we definitely – we, we, we definitely had to make uh, a lot of things happen to make that happen, but it was that was probably one of my favorite first videos, and I think that was like one of the last videos I did before. I think that was actually the video that really got me thinking about my own channel because I think mm-hmm. I think oh, yeah. after I remember like after that video dropped, that was when like it was because if you go back, that video is tagged like you know people put their tags the run mm-hmm. videos that's tagged as post production Hayden, which is what I went by before I did okay. all off the glass. That video, I think, was like the one. Like after that, I was like, okay, how do I take this to the next level? Right. Mm-hmm. And then I think almost everything after that was pretty much um, you, like that. Yeah. That's fucking cool, man. Like you're just your whole story of, of you know, going to the internship, really talking to Mike, mm-hmm. and like his connections, and then coming back here, getting that. Well, w- did you shoot that video before you went in s- to the internship what, with the, uh, the Mike Decto video? Uh, the- no, the Love Me All of a Sudden. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, that, that was, was back, before. Yeah, that was back in like December. So yeah. like, just so that's where that idea of your own company kind of created. Yeah, huh? so that's where it was. So two videos, "Love Me All of a Sudden" and "Step Back," were shot were videos I shot previously, and then I just reached out to the artist, said, "Hey, am I allowed to post this on my channel?" Um, that was when like I first kind of started up the channel. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Hey, you know, these are two videos that I've done that I, that I really like. Am I allowed to post these on my channel?" And they're like, "Yeah, go for it." So I was like, "You know, these are these are kind of things I want to post up." Uh, but those were shot previously. That was just before I had like you know optical ice and shit. But, that was really cool. So you yeah. took those, you went to see Mike, you got those connections, you came back, and then you were like, "What's the name?" Definitely not <laughs> production. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever that was, ice or, and then so optical ice, and now you're here. You you booked out. You've done yeah. good work, and you're enjoying it. Yeah, I love it, man. I mean, it's you gotta love the process. I mean, every day I wake up, it's. First thing that I th- first thing I think about in the morning, last thing I think about when I go to bed. It's just mm-hmm. you know, grow, oh, yeah. growing optical ice all day, and um, I, it's you know, it's the sky's the limit from here on out. It's just kind of gotta keep climbing the mountain, you know. What? So, w- where do you see yourself? Like, what's that vision that you like? Cause I know, I know, we don't want to say like uh, end game. Yeah, like where mm-hmm. you where you finished, but like in like twenty years, what, what's what's that seat you're looking at? Um, you know, like what do you hope to have accomplished? And like. I guess I should say, what what do you want to accomplish with your with your brand? Like, are you are you out to get awards? Are you out to get it? What are you trying to do? You know, I I don't really have any super specific like you know, it's not like oh, I want to win four Oscars. I want to do this. Like, no, yeah. I'm not. Like, I I want to just make videos that I like making. You know, right. I, I, like I'll, like I want to keep making music videos. I would love to be able to make a movie. You know, um, you know, we really started a lot of this was you know, like I said, when I went to school, like I I want you know, I, was, I still I still want to, but. It was it was working like Hollywood, like on uh, movies and TV shows. And, yeah, just at um, like a, a production company. Huh? Yeah, like being an editor. Like that was that was another thing. Is you know like originally movies are probably a lot easier to edit, huh? Than these music videos. Um, I, I mean I would say in a sense there's less like effects, huh? Yeah, there's less like kind of trippy effects with it. Um, and you got to be careful with like uh, syncing. Like you know like when you sync the the stuff, you got to make sure you don't like mess it up or like unsync it. So there's like you know the videos like layered. Um, yeah. I would just say it's easier now granted i've never edited like a full feature length film mm-hmm. but um there's a lot of footage you got to cut through like um when i was working on like a short film with a lot of footage and um it's it's, it's sort of a different type of edit but um so who yeah. decides what goes in the in the shot at the end of the day is you right yeah as editor. yeah yeah so the movie is like the director just gets all the shots and the editor makes the movie yeah so traditionally there's a, a dp which is like a director of photography which like holds the camera okay. um and that is one thing that like down line like you know i would like to use is like you know i like you know using my gimbal and my camera but mm-hmm. i would you know i'd like to say i do trust like a you know like a professional c- cinematographer would definitely do it better than i would um and so you know obviously like i don't have the budget for that right now so i just kind of do it myself um I, I like the stuff that i i think i have a good eye for it but you know mm. um obviously down the line like getting like true professionals to do that would be great um but yeah i mean that's kind of how it goes with that um yeah pretty much but in terms of like who decides like the final stuff it's you know on a full set it would it's a mixture i'd probably say between the editor and the director um mm. just for opticalized videos it's like you know it's me sometimes ours like oh can we put this in and you know if it's like yeah, yeah you really want it in there that's fine you know or if it's like you know like you know i can throw it in and i don't think it looks that great but you know like here you know what do you think about it you know it's mm-hmm. it's usually i've noticed it's pretty easy like it's usually like you know if, if i don't think it looks that great they're kind of like oh yeah you know it doesn't really look that great or they just trust your 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 view yeah for it. well and usually i i like to um 
you know, I like to, you know, I've heard, I know some people like, you know, they're like, oh, I charge extra for edits. I'm like, that's dumb. Like, I don't do that mm. shit. Like, I don't, like, yeah, what? like, yeah, no, it's people like, do that. sometimes they'd be like, they get a certain amount of edits and then past that they have to like charge more. And I kind of get it in sense mm-hmm. of it's your time. But like me personally, it's like, I'd rather just have you be happy with the video. Cause right. I don't want you to feel like I'm ripping you off. Like it's, like I said, I, I want you to be like, I don't want you to think of you hiring me. It's a, you know, collab effort. Um, but I usually just like throw it in there. I'm like, here, this is how it looks with it. I don't think it looks that good. You know, and then, has there been times like that so far? Yeah, where yeah. There's you been were a like, couple. I mean, there's been times. It's, it's never like confrontational. Like it's not like mm-hmm. you know, like we're not like mad at each other. It's just like, oh, I really want this shot in here, and I'm like, okay, I don't think it looks good, but here, let me put it in for you, and then I'm gonna send it to you, and then um, you tell know, you tell what me you what, think. yeah, and then yeah. oftentimes they're like, oh, actually, you know what, you're right, and I'm like, you know, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it's usually like you know, it's like me first, like I don't know anything about making music, mm-hmm. so it's like you know, it's like you know, but they know how, like you know, like a lot of these guys like know how to you know, sing a song and like perform my track. It's like. You know, I, I trust their judgment on that. Even if I, right. I think I know like what to do or something like that. So. Are there are there certain things you won't shoot? Like you're like, I'm not gonna, I don't want to video that, man. Um, like, have you ever been like, nah, I don't, I'm not trying to have that. I mean, there's been a couple times where it's like, you know, we've been trying to do like a more light-hearted video where it's like we don't take it too seriously and you know we're trying to make, make it a little bit of a goofy video mm. um I, that's always kind of a vibe i've liked it's just yeah. kind of like you know like like i said like i've noticed that sometimes when we're doing like these lower budget videos and we're just trying to make them like creative it's like just kind of making them kind of head ass or just kind of yeah. funny like sometimes we're just, yeah. we're just kids out there with a camera you know right. like uh, but there's been times where you know i've like you know i've been like nah i don't really want to do that like you know like i'll put my foot down there it's like i, I don't think that would i think that would just look really cringy like i don't yeah. want my name on that or it's right. like or like oh i think that i don't want my i don't want my name associated with that but not too many to be honest no it's, that's good though yeah yeah there is like a there's like a line i couldn't i wouldn't cross but i'm not super picky like like i said like i, I don't have like a lot of like really like it has to be like this it has to be like this it's like you know it's like but if there's like a situation where it's like nah I, I, that's not it it's like, yeah it's know. like we can do this a different way man mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so are you are you shooting to be like just editor or did you want to be like a uh, editor director i, I want to do it all man i want to be a ceo yeah. i want to be well, but yeah, like I, I shouldn't say that in a sense but yeah so like but like say in like 10 years you don't want to be the guy that's still recording and editing or do you do you still want to be that guy that's um, that's up in there or do you eventually hope to have a staff and like helping you you know, I, I think to my core, like I said, what all started was me editing. I think to a core, I would still trust my judge, judgment with the edit. Okay. I still like, like I said, I think. Yeah, your edits are fucking great, man. I appreciate, appreciate fucking that. Fucking props, Thank bro. You, bro. You're bro. doing appreciate shit I see, okay. and I'm appreciate like, that. how? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's like that shit, like, how? Like, what? <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to approach that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have an, I use Sony Vegas. Have you heard of that? Yeah. So, or whatever. We use that to just kind of, uh, you know, edit these, because these are real easy. It's a lot of just. Sinkage. Yeah, sync and cut mm-hmm. clips, you know, here and there. Yeah. But mm-hmm. uh, you know, so Sony Vegas works for us, but it uh it definitely to get into the cooler side of shit is hard. Like yeah. it, it, it takes time. Yeah. yeah. And like like I said about asking questions, sometimes you just need the right motherfucker next to you. Mm-hmm. I would I don't I have no idea of what thing to look up, you know. So uh. we're kinda in a standstill. I'm gonna hire someone. Mm-hmm. But that's kinda where at least for us, we, we tend or we see ourselves, you know, being at a point where we're just coming in to shoot, you know, we're not setting up the mics. Someone else has got all like, I want to add soundboards. I want to add different angles. I want to add more lighting. I want to add a different dynamic to how this, this whole set is, you know, like it's good to just always want more and growth and like to, to envision how, it can always be better. Yeah, that that's kind of that. That's how I approach my videos. You know, like I mm-hmm. always like it's always like you you're know, always trying to one up yourself. Yeah, exactly. It's like you know, how can we make this crazier? How can we make it dope? You know, and, mm-hmm. and sometimes it's not even in the edit. It's like in the camera. You know, right. it's like yeah. it's like you know, like you know, you just kind of sit there and think about. It. It's like you know, what what can we do just to make this sick? And I try to do as much in the camera as I can. Mm-hmm. You know, not just not not just to save time on the edit. Just like you know, it, it, it I feel like a lot of times it looks more natural. It looks more realistic if you're doing mm-hmm. camera. You know, right. I always just think like. You know what's the best way that we can just try to do this and you know sometimes it requires you know like I said you gotta rent stuff out you gotta get stuff but um i mean i think that that's what separates a, a good video from a decent yeah, video it's is, all you part know, of the game yeah exactly if you exactly. can really you know s- invoke some sort of you know emotional response or something in that mm-hmm. so you want to yeah. be remembered you know yeah, like sure. you, yeah, you want yeah. someone to watch your shit and remember that that's optical ice yeah you know what i, I mean? just like i said like you know you're, you're asking what i want to do in 20 years to be honest like you know i it's definitely more the channel. You know, I, I think when I went into college, I was, you know, I was just kind of with the mindset of, 
I want to be able to be an editor at some sort of production house. Now it's like, I want to own the production house. I want to own merch. Mm, I want to do events. I want more. Yeah. Yeah. So you you got that taste and now you want, I always kind of, you know, it's, it college has definitely become more of a A hassle. Yeah. Um, More of a, no, I mean, it's like, okay. So like when I was like back in New York, I was kind of running into this where it was kind of like, you know, I was doing stuff and you know, there was a couple projects that, you know, I was, that I was able to work on that were, um, they were really big and, um, there was, um, you know, just doing projects with Mike and stuff. And, you know, I kept thinking to myself, I was just like, man, what, man like, you know, I, I'm skipping some, like I missed some and I was like for, for school. And I was just like, man, this is frustrating. Like, you know, I'm, I'm giving up some of these opportunities for, for school. You right. know, it's like, I remember, um, I remember there was one project that was pretty big. Um, there was a, um, a music video that dropped and it was, it was with Callboy and Lil Wayne. It was oh. miseducation. Oh, yeah. Um, and there was, I was able to, I wasn't able to shoot the video. Mm-hmm. Like it's not, I didn't shoot the video yeah. <laughs> before I go say something I didn't do. I did not that shoot the video. That would be crazy. Yeah. Tony would have shit his pants. Yeah. He loves Lil Wayne. I did not work on the video. <laughs> I he said, I didn't meet yeah. Lil Wayne, but yeah. I, know, I want to. Yeah. It's like that now. And it's, you know, I, I always just say, you know what? Like I'm in college. I love my fraternity brothers. I'm, oh, there, yeah. I'm there for that. You are in a fraternity. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Um, Initiation I'm, was crazy, huh? For what? To get into the frat. Did you have to do like an initiation? I mean, you get initiated, but it wasn't crazy or anything. Uh, <laughs> like, I see, <laughs> my buddy Kobe, he had to do. They, he was at a, uh, Eastern though, so like they're okay. big drinking college, like yeah. that party okay. college, and so he had to have two. They pretty much they made him drink until he couldn't, and if he made it past a certain time in the night, and he was still standing, he was in. <laughs> no, we, we didn't have to do anything like that. They're pretty strict on that in my school. We, we didn't have to do anything. Like I'm actually president of my fraternity. Really? Fuck yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah. And well, I, you're a senior, yeah. so you've been there for a while now, right? Yeah. yeah. I, well, I joined. Years. I joined my sophomore year. I didn't join my freshman year, but um, but yeah, I've been there for a little bit. What now. is the, uh, yeah. What's the name of your fraternity? I'm in Phi Kappa Psi. It's a national fraternity. Phi Kappa Psi. Phi Kappa Psi. Yeah. Phi Kappa Psi. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. filthy. They always so, got the so, crazy, crazy names. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Delta Psi. You know, <laughs> it's always the Psi. It, yeah. It's always in there somewhere. Psi. Yeah. Yeah. But so, what made you? want to join that man like uh so i would like i was a freshman at college um i thought about it i just you know did, didn't decide to do it you know I, I don't really know why i just wasn't really interested in it my freshman year then my buddy he was um he was looking around different uh different fraternities he ended up joining the fraternity that i joined um the semester before and then uh this was oh man this was years ago it's a weird thing it's 2021 this is back in like, 2019 like <laughs> yeah i was like that's when yeah, we graduated i know like i'm just like this is it, it's been a while ago so then he joined and so then i remember like you know, I was like, oh, you know, I'll look at it. And, you know, I looked at a couple different fraternities and, you know, I kind of vibe with that one. And um, you go through this process when you join a fraternity, it's called rushing. You know, you just, yeah, you, you have to rush it, right? Yeah, you look at, you know, you look at um, a couple different ones. You can look at as many as you want. I, I tried to I tried to get as many as I could. And um, and then I, I remember I just was like, you know, yeah, I kind of vibe with these guys. And then um, I joined that fraternity. And um, it, I, I, I was I was so happy I did it. You know, I. I uh, what kind I'll, of thing does it add to, though? Like. You know, I, I always say a lot of, you know, what, what really inspired me, um, wh- I, I, cause I started doing videos for my fraternity. Like, um, it, it, we started, you do like, uh, like rush videos and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I started doing, um, you know, working, we, we had a couple guys in the, in the house that did like videos and stuff. And I started helping them with them. Um, that really actually got me like, you know, buying more gear and kind of doing it a lot my, myself. But, oh, um, yeah. It was a big thing that I, I think that the printing gave me was, you know, I think everyone thinks like, you know, like just, you know, parties and shit. Like, I mean, it's, mm-hmm. it's fun and all, but like, um, what, what really inspired me was like, uh, being in a fraternity, especially being president, it's, it's a lot like running a business in a sense. Like yeah. there's a lot to do. It's stressful. You know, responsibility. Yeah. There's a lot of responsibility, especially during COVID, you know, yeah. cause like, even though it's online, you gotta like, you know, make sure that like mm-hmm. nothing fucking happens. I mean, even though we're not, you know, like doing shit in person, it's yeah. like, you know, we, we got, we got to look out for each other and try to keep us all bonded together during COVID and shit. Mm-hmm. And that's gotta be hard. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. I mean, I, I would, we, we were be able to, we, we have a really good group of guys right now and we were able to be blessed to be able to, you know, like really power through and grow a lot through COVID. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm really, be, I'm blessed to be in the situation that I am, but, um, it was, like I said, it, it definitely was a lot of hard work, a lot of grind, but yeah, that's part of it. But yeah, what yeah. I think I really got from it was that sort of mindset, like, mm-hmm. um, that really achieving a lot. Like I remember we were going in, I, I, I became president the, the semester that we went into online was the semester I became president. Oh, okay. Okay. And I remember like when we were sitting down with some of the other guys who were like leaders in the, in, in the fraternity, I said, I want to kill it in re- recruitment. I said, like, that's my number one goal. I said, from, you know, we, we went into school in May and we have rush in the fall. 
And, the, and is this you recruiting people or are you being Yeah, recruited? so it's it's rush week. It's okay. like it's the same thing that I went through. I said we need to kill it in recruitment. Like in that I said like we need to do everything So numbers is better, right? For your uh, I wouldn't say numbers better. I would say it's quality over quantity. Okay. But I said I want really good I, like I was ambitious. Like I was like I want really good quality and I want really good numbers. Like I like I said I said COVID is like a blank slate. It's like brand new i want like you know like i was like i was like th this rush can be like the future of the house like it's I an want... opportunity yeah it was an opportunity and so i remember like we just kind of grilled it we, we we figured out how we could make it happen and i think that was a big reason that kind of helped me get into this mindset was we spent so much time so much energy it was all online like mm -hmm. we weren't recruiting in person um but we ended up having one like you know like a, one, one of our biggest pledge classes and you know the 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 pool of people that signed up to join that semester was a lot smaller because it was online um, but we we had a lot of those guys, and um, I, we got like I forget the exact number, but it was it we it was better than I, what I thought we would do. Mm. And I remember you got, like you had options. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Even you, like you no. don't, yeah, you don't, yes. give, you don't give a bid <laughs> yes. to everybody. Like you know, yeah, you, you shouldn't at least. Um, but I remember, I remember like you know we were going through that, and then I um, that was kind of what plans is like you know we really you know as a team we really sat down and was determined to do this and mm. i kind of started applying that same sort of mindset to my career because mm. i was it's like inspiration it, it was inspiration you know and, and that's what i try to pass on to them and you know i always say like you know joining fraternity like i got more i got more of that fraternity like as i'm getting ready to graduate college mm. i got way more of that fraternity than i did in my classes right. that's and, that, awesome. and so many people would be like what are you talking about like you know but because people just assume that it's just all about the parties so i'm like mm. no it's not like there's so much shit you have to do what what explain because Mm -hmm. What type of stuff goes into a fraternity? Because, like, from an outsider's perspective, when I say fraternity, I just mm -hmm. see, like, a group of guys. But I don't really see what that kind of adds to the college experience besides the whole party thing that they glamorize, you know? And yeah, so it's it, it's friends, it's connections, um, it's keeping everyone on the same page. You have to keep people motivated, you know? Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff you have to do. It's, it's a very social, you know, organization. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to be very social with it. Um, probably good for networking out of imagine. yeah like networking like like since so we're national fraternity so we have chapters like all over the country okay so um there's you know you can like meet other brothers you can get jobs through that That's um awesome. but it, it's really mainly like the, the thing i like focus on is like you know internally like it's like you know make sure that we're all kind of you know we're all kind of one like we all have that same sort of vision there's a clear vision of where we're doing you know like why we're doing everything that we do mm -hmm. you know trying to grow trying to branch out um it's it, it's a lot of work and you know you really mm -hmm. have to commit a lot of time to it um, but you also, you know, you can help see that reward in a sense, you know, you can help see the growth and help see the, um, excuse me, the progress that you make. Um, and so that's kind of, I, I guess that's in a sense of, you know, I, I think from the outside, a lot of people don't see that they just kind of see parties. And, mm -hmm. um, I mean, like I said, that, that, that is a part of Greek life. You know, I mean, not really now cause of COVID, but well, I mean, some places, yes, but like, so you guys were going to parties and stuff in COVID. You, yeah. no, 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 before COVID. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You have to, they probably, threw you don't parties. have to No, Yeah. We, we threw our own parties. You don't have to go. I mean, like, I don't know any of our brothers that didn't go, but like, you know, if, if you don't want to go, like I'm, if, if we had a guy that said like, Oh, I can't go to a party. I'm not gonna like be like, what the fuck? No. Like, I'd be like, that's fine. Like you don't have to go, but, <laughs> uh, but you guys would, do you have a house then? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we do. Yeah. Do you live in it? I did, yeah, and I'm probably gonna be living down in the in the fall as well, yeah. It's probably a pretty big house, huh? It's actually small. Uh, the the my the the fraternity chapters, the the ones that have houses. Some 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 of them don't have houses at my at my campus at my college. Mm -hmm. The ones that do, um, they're not like those big four story. It's like, like Monsters University, huh? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> like bunk beds, yeah. Like in, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's some like there's some chapters in my fraternity that have like four story fucking houses oh. with like. 70 people living in the house like ours is only have that's 10. intense bro yeah like it's it, it, where do you it's, there's 10 rooms in that house no, no no there's like 10 people that live in max oh yeah okay. I, not even i think there's like seven the max house i don't know it's not not not, not huge but um it's it's not um it's not a big house but i it's it's like a little aesthetic house you know what yeah. i mean like it's got like kind of a, a you guys keep here. it clean or frats are nasty. We try. Huh? We try our best. Yeah. <laughs> it's a frat house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're remodeling our backyard, though. So that was like, because the backyard was like a dish, d dumpster fire. Like, yeah. Yeah that, yeah, that shit was trash. But we're, 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 we're remodeling that over COVID. Um, but I would definitely say, like, um, it, it, it was still pretty dirty and, like, still pretty beat up over the years of being a frat house. But it definitely. Uh, How many rooms is in it? I think it's about like. Four, I think. Let's okay. see. There's like, there's like the one that I had. The other, yeah. I think there's about like, there's about four rooms in it. So yeah. So do people like, bunk up then? There's two rooms that like are like solo that you can get like your own room, and then there's like two rooms that are like split, and then there's like another kind of like 
if you, it's not really a room, but like we let people live in there sometimes. Okay. Like there's been guys who have just kind of like had like couches <coughs> in there, or like beds in there. So um, obviously, since you're a president, you got your own room, right? I don't have my own room actually. Ah. So the own room is like it's just small. Oh, like okay. that's the only thing. Like it's just a smaller room, and well, someone was living in it already okay. when I moved in. So and you're I not gonna like, kick him out. Yeah, I was like, I'm not really gonna kick him out. Like you know, and besides, like I was like, it is kind of small. Like yeah. I'd rather have the bigger room. So it's kind of a win-win. But it's funny because some of the guys call that like the president suite because like mm-hmm. I guess the president lived there before and it's a solo room. But I was like, I was like, eh, like you know, it is kind of small and like, yeah. But Fuck it. Yeah, exactly. At that point, yeah. So yeah. you're gonna have to kick someone out to go live there again no um we, the house is empty huh there's a couple people living there now but when we go back in person we go back in the fall there's probably gonna be like a switch well, there is gonna be like a switch like we're gonna move new guys in and mm-hmm. there's guys that have been there living there they're gonna be moving out um but um but so yeah you guys always just keep it in rotation the guys that are living in there have definitely they've been living in there for years but they've oh, been living okay. there for a while um they uh, most of them have graduated and, and usually we, when we have guys graduate they um they move out but we've been online because of covid so like no one's really been moving in because you know there hasn't really been a reason to. And then yeah. they didn't move out. Yeah. So now that we're going back in person, it's like oh you know we should probably be you know having like guys that are going to be active move in and so um, yeah. And so are they pretty cool about leaving? I think so. I mean, I it's I, it's not my like thing to to, yeah. to, to move out, but I, I mean I think so. I mean I think I think they get it. You know, yeah. like I I I don't think they want to live there anymore. It's like you graduated. Get the <laughs> fuck out, right. buddy. It's not like <laughs> that, but <laughs> but um, but uh, no. I mean I think I think they're pretty chill with it. Oh yeah. So what's your favorite movie? My favorite <laughs> movie. Well, because you you was talking about movies inspire you and all that. I just a movie know the I favorite really one. enjoyed. Cause I could, we could do a whole nother yeah. podcast about movies, bro. So, I, I I know movies. I'm trying to think. The last movie that I remember that like I really really enjoyed, I probably have to say like, honestly, like Deadpool two. Okay. I remember that was one I like. I really thoroughly enjoyed that movie, and like I watched rewatched it again. Um, I'm a really big Michael Bay fan, mm-hmm. and it's funny because you know I in my I knew school, you were gonna be a guy that likes directors. I knew it. Yeah. I knew you were, do you watch movies based on who directed it? Um, sometimes. I mean, like. Sometimes it's just like if I like the movie. I mean, like I said, I, I pretty much like almost everything Michael Bay does, just because you know, like I, I'm really into like making just dope cinematography. That's kind of yeah. what he does. You probably can't watch a movie the same anymore, huh? You're thinking about oh how he shot it. Oh, yeah. that's a cool angle. Yeah. I yeah. think about that shit all the time. Like horror yeah. movies, they used to scare the shit out of me. Now mm-hmm. I'm just like, this is fake. But I wonder yeah. how she got that action. Like how did she get that fucking reaction on the camera? Yeah. Like I'm always like, how did they fall into character? You know, <laughs> really yeah. acting but, a mess on yeah, the camera right now. It's like. It's like but it, and then I'm thinking, like, how did they get the shot from outside the car, inside the car, and it didn't really look like it transitioned? Uh, it, some of those behind-the-scenes videos of how they get it is crazy. Like, yeah. I've seen this Like, they'll have cars that are, like, cut open. Yeah. And, yeah. like, that's how they do yeah. it. It's like, yeah. they'll go around to the other side, and it's just, there's no fucking car there. I saw <laughs> one. It was this dude. He literally just had a camera and would ride on rollerblades next to the fucking car and then just, like... Veer off. Yeah, bro. Them cameramen cool are, are literally uh, going out there for the shot sometimes yeah. in, the, in the literal mm-hmm. way. Like, they're going for that shot. What yeah, is, you know? yeah, there's been times I've been doing that where it's just like, you know, it's like I've had my camera hanging out the side of a car True. or like, you know, I've been like, you know, sitting outside a car halfway trying to get the shot and I'm like, just hold it for like five more seconds. Yeah, he's like, like, hold me in. Yeah, my exactly. Like, <laughs> not trying to die, but like, you know, got to get, get that the shot. shot. Yeah, get yeah. the shot. Yeah. What's, the, what's the craziest shot you think you've gotten? Craziest? Like, <sighs> The crazy yeah, you had to do the to most shoot, to get there. Uh, there was one shot that we got with the drone that was very fucking risky flying the drone. Um, were you next to an airport? No, we were we were with. Well, there's one time I crashed the drone actually into some fucking. Power. We were shooting a workout video with one of my buddies, and I crashed the drone into some power lines. We were playing uh, basketball. The drone survived. I was pretty okay. impressed. I was like, you know, chopped up a propeller, but I was like, wow, that, that shit didn't. Yeah, break. Like God a, bless, you know. Yeah. Um, there was I one shot. A short circuit or something. Yeah, you know? there was one shot that we were getting with. Um, I was getting with uh, another buddy had a uh, another WRX, and we're getting that. And I had to like I, I I on the gimbal I didn't want to shoot it freehand because you know it was pretty shaky mm-hmm. so I had to like sit out the window and like have the gimbal hanging and there's also like the gimbal was like hanging off the ground but it was also like if I trip out then I fall then mm-hmm. you know there's fucking six thousand dollars you know out the sketchy. window and, yeah yeah sketchy and then my life yeah you know? then my life it's, it's funny you know? how you think about equipment first because I'm yeah. the same way bro like whenever I see a mic or like 
you know, people walking through this room, I was like, watch the fucking lights, watch the fucking mics, mm-hmm. watch the cords. Yeah, don't exactly. trip on no, shit. Do not like, fall. I've been, like, I've been like, you can hurt me, just don't hurt the. You know, like, yeah, don't hurt the camera. Like, put put the tripod down. Okay, what's up? What do you want to <laughs> yeah, do? Yeah. Like, yeah. Facts. It's what's like, I get you're upset. Hold yeah. two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> but what's that thing called that you put on the camera again? A gimbal? Yeah. So it's like a stabilizer, basically. Okay. So yeah. it, it's that called like a, the little tripod thing. Yeah. So it's that's got the little weird looking legs. Kinda. Yeah. So it's got it's called a Ronin that you. Use, and then so it basically just kind of keeps it steady. I don't like using tripods that much. I use them sometimes, mm-hmm. like you know, if there's like a certain shot, like you know, like in some of my videos, I like to use like really wide angle lenses and kind of give it like that classic music video yeah. like, shot look. But um, I like to use movement, and so like that's why I like Michael Bay. Like you know, I've always just like to throw it on a tripod and just do like a nice orbit follow. Or the you got that that thing that like it, it kind of it does like a gyro thing. Where that's what it is, a gimbal. Yeah, yeah that's what oh, it is. Okay, yeah. so it you keeps the camera still. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's what it, it keeps okay. it stable and stuff. That's why I like to use because, like I said, like you know, I really like to always be like you know have some movement or have some sort of cool effects. Right. And yeah, movement in a video is always cool. Mm-hmm. I do you, you play video games? Yeah. So I, I want to tell you a game that really like fucking and I think you could get behind. It. Have you ever played uh, God of War Four? I have not. No. So the whole game is shot from uh, without any cuts, without no takes and everything, mm-hmm. and just the way it's filmed, it's like the the camera and like how it moves because you play behind the character and then you know when a cutscene happens you'll jump to his shoulder and then it goes around and it's it's like fully capturing the whole thing and i think like movies with minimal cuts i love that i don't like the transitions between mm-hmm. scenes i love to see it how it how it uh it naturally angles. comes about you uh, know yeah. like if they can like i'd love to see a whole one take movie like where it's just 1917 they, that, oh, it yeah. is mm-hmm. did that. Oh my God. Yeah, they they did it like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think they did cut it like they they did, but they made it look like it was one. Yeah. yeah. It was, and yeah. that in the same way it was shot, that's mm-hmm. how that game yeah. is. Is is that's really cool. Yeah. You said that. You've seen the movie? Yeah, one time. Oh, okay. But I'm definitely down to rewatch. Have to watch that one. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. It is really good. That that's an interesting story for sure. Yeah. But. Man, this has been a great episode. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Is there anything you want to get to that we didn't get to? Uh, not really. I mean, just like I said, we got a lot of dope videos coming out. Make sure to yeah. check out stuff on the channel. Hell yeah, go check him out. Everything, right? Optical ice on everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, subscribe. Yeah, the uh, bell. Young Boy Miracle Live, June twenty sixth. Uh, we'll have the location up pretty soon, but. Hell sure. yeah, go check that out. Yeah, yeah, get your tickets for that. We're gonna have the uh, all the promotion stuff on Optical Ice. If you send me the uh, ticket link, I'll put it in the description. Yeah, you can. Be- Wow. Phone, yeah. You can meet me there. Yeah, we could you know you can be in the camera. Yeah, I'm oh, the camera fuck. that would be yeah. cool. That would yeah. be cool. That'd be hella cool, man. Well where, where's this located? Yeah, where so I don't actually have the location yet. Okay. Um I think it's gonna be up in it's gonna be up north. <laughs> so are you but... planning his uh live show then? Yeah, so I'm I'm doing like the uh all the video promotion for it. I'm gonna right. we're doing like a cover for it. It's gonna like Optilize Presents, like Young Boy Miracle. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, I mean and like I said, they're, they're, we're trying to do some more uh event based stuff that's you know, we think it's gonna be pretty big, but can't talk too much about that yeah, yet, yeah. but that should be more Just towards. get them excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds yeah. like it's going to be awesome, though. This yeah. is going to be awesome. Hey, man, well, yeah. we're getting towards the end of the show. It's been kind of a longer one, but we enjoyed it. I love having you on, man. I, I totally here, man. would love to do some work with you in the future. I know we both would. I'll yeah. you back yeah. someday as yeah. well. Yeah, get you back when you're a little bigger and you got some more <laughs> fucking stories to I'm tell down, us. I'm down, bro. It'd I'm be down. great, man. And, uh, yeah, so lastly... Go check him out on everything, please. He's been a great guest, and we loved having him. Subscribe to us. Hit the bell. Subscribe to him. Go follow him on Instagram. He's doing dope shit. He's booked out till July. We got this live show he's doing. It's going to be dope. Maybe we'll pop out. If you guys want to come see it, leave a like. 